Hey, morning all. Just out here in Tenerife and it's a lovely sunny morning. I've just done my journal and something came to mind. I want to ask a question um, because you all know that journaling is something that's sort of part of my life. I think it's one of the best things that you can do. Uh, but I'm going to ask the question, how vulnerable should you be in your journal? You know, when you're writing the entries, particularly the correction because you know on the night routine where you've got the correction part you know about what you learn and it's almost like how you can improve that is an area where you can get super vulnerable you know what I mean you, it's uh, self-correction maybe you've done something you shouldn't whether it's a bad habit that you're trying to break and that's what journaling is about really it's 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 a way of documenting incremental continuous improvement day by day very very small you know so the morning routine is, is about setting intentions and what you'd like to achieve for the day and you put in some positive affirmations and some gratitude and it's really positive you know what I mean it, then you've got three points that I use for the three small things that I'd like to achieve each day towards my goals and it's uh, titled what would make today great and then the night routine is about accounting for what happened in the day and hopefully that matches your plan. And then the last bit, what did I learn today? This is about self-reflection and correction. So by nature, in the evening, you're reflecting on the day, what, what's happened. And let's say you didn't achieve, quite achieve what you set out to achieve and you slipped into some bad habits. You know, that could be uh, something as simple as you didn't train or you didn't do your work or something like that. But it could be even worse. It could be you got absolutely rat assed or really, really drunk or, you know, you'd done something you shouldn't have done, whether that's with a person or, let's say, you'd um, eaten a horrible amount of takeaway food or something like that. Or, you know, some of these things are not too bad. But if you've got, say, a really, really bad habit that you're trying to break, that say of uh, something to do with narcotics or it could even be smoking or drinking too much or maybe it's like uh, sexual promiscuity or something like that. This is an area where <laughs> you, you would, sort of, it's a good place to correct on yourself. So myself, I've always thought that I should be super vulnerable in my journal because it is the one place where you should be able to be super vulnerable that's really good because you, you know you get everything out and then you reflect on it especially when you're reading back six months later and you had a habit that you're trying to break and over that six months if you see gradual improvement you know maybe it's um uh, i don't know I must stop doing such a thing and go to bed instead or go to bed early and you know eat healthy you, you can see continuous improvement over the six months uh, so it's important to be vulnerable because you want to be super truthful at the point. This should be a really, really accurate reflection of uh, your, your daily life, basically. In summary, well, the problem with that then comes is it's a book, right? Anyone could just pick it up and read it and get very, very intimate detail about what's going on inside your head and who you are as a person. And I've not really thought about that much, but... It, it came to my mind that sometimes, I, you know, I can leave this around, lying around at home, and should you do that? And I was, it got me thinking about the security of a journal. You know, do they need a padlock? Do you need to put it in a safe? Because you never know who will come along. I think we have this unwritten rule that no one would ever read anyone else's journal or anyone else's diary. And I think that's true. But there's still the risk there, so I haven't really solved it yet. Although it is something that I've been thinking about quite a lot because my journals are very, very vulnerable. And they are for me, and whilst I trust everyone, you know, I don't, I don't want to get into a scenario where, you know, people start reading your journal. I would never read anyone else's, but people might do that. So I don't know what your thoughts are. What I would say is, your absolute priority is to be as truthful as you can in here because the only way to correct bad habits and turn them into good habits is to acknowledge them first and then seek to change them day by day, little small parts. And a great way to do that is just to document it. And then you've got an accurate reflection you can read back on in later years. So if you're worried about the, you know, 
the security of a, a journal like this, um, the first thing I would say is prioritise being accurate and truthful in here. Even if you don't feel that you can be that truthful in everyday life, it's important for your own self-development and correction that you tr you're very, very accurate in here and truthful. Um, and then start to think about, you know, is it safe? I mean, obviously, you know, you, you've got to sort that yourself. I'd love to know your comments on that one. Uh, what you think, whether you do journal, and whether you've actually thought of that, and what you'd feel if someone did read your journal, would it be that bad? Or maybe it'd be a good thing, you know? Maybe it'd, someone, would, people would really understand. Maybe you're going through some struggles, and maybe you want to share that with people. You might want to not go into the detail that's in here, but I don't know. Just interested to know your thoughts. All right, hope you like that one. Don't forget to subscribe, like it, and see you all next time.